hi everyone i hope that all of you are really doing great so in today's video i would be telling you about how you can deploy your react js website in netlify now netlify is a very popular uh place is a cloud platform where you can host your uh, mon website or you can say angular react any website you can host there right it means you can deploy there right and it's a really good platform for hosting uh, full stack applications so in this video i would be showing you the whole process that how you can connect with the github and deploy it right in the netlify with easy steps right so without wasting any time let's get started and let's begin our video and one more thing if you like my videos uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel keep supporting me and like this video and share it with the friends like those who want to take benefit out of this video right so let's get started without wasting any time so the first of all the thing is uh, create a react app and uh, i would be uh, showing you the steps of creating the react app and hosting uh, and then i would be showing you the steps for creating the react app and then creating a github repository and then pushing and uh, taking out all the codes to that github repository right right so first thing that is uh, create a react app right so now first thing that uh, i have opened my uh, command line interface that is my powershell windows powershell right so uh, go for any of the terminal and open it now i have in my personal folder of react js app like where i create all my react js app and i have i have always mentioned you like whenever you create a react app uh, create a folder like in which you will be doing all the react app for your projects and learning purposes and all right so uh, and also like setting up react js in our local machine and pc i have created a video if you have not checked that one uh, like how to install react js you can go and check that out video i will be giving out somewhere here and also about the firebase hosting also i will be give, uh, giving this one and the uh, link will be given right so let's get started for this one so first is uh, i will be creating a react app so so the same command npx create react app and then i will give a app name test app right and i will hit enter so it will create a react app for me so let's just wait for a minute uh, till this process is being finished it takes a little bit of time like five minutes or like that right so let's just wait for that one and uh, till that time uh, if you have not subscribed my channel go and subscribe my channel like this video if you are a sub if you are wanting to support me you can also share this video with your other friends like those who are uh, learning react and want to host their react js website and so in the meanwhile my react js app is being created right so let's first open this one in our vs code or any of the code editor that you have right so uh, first i will go inside that one uh, test app right cd test app and then we have to open it in vs code so code dot and now it is going to open up our in the vs code right so here you can see all the things so in the terminal i will click on new terminal and let's just uh, start the server so i will write npm start right and i will hit enter so uh, it will start our react js app in the server in our local host right so let's just see uh, is it working or not so here you can see that uh, our react app is running on our local host so let's just make some changes uh, so that it will be easy for us to understand right so i will go in the uh, app.js and let me minimize this one a little bit and let me uh, change here right so i have made some changes uh, here right subscribe for more videos and like this video right so i have made some changes and if i save this one and if i now come back again you can see the changes have been done in our local machine right now we have to do uh, the next task that we have to do is we have to uh, go for github right so i will uh, come in github first of all in my account so if you have not uh, seen that uh, how to create an account in github also you can go and create an account it is really very, very simple and now after that uh, what you have to do is create a new repository in your github account so uh, like for the project like what you are doing so create a repository for that one so i am giving it the same name test tab right and uh, nothing else i need uh, if you want you can uh, make it private uh, sorry don't make it private make it public and uh, click on create repository and once you do this one a repository will be created for you and now i am copying all these things now if you want to know what is git what is github how it works there is a complete video tutorial in my channel also you can go and check it out there for now uh, time shortage is there so i am uh, showing you a bit faster so i am copy pasting all these things so in the terminal uh, what your work is to do uh, click on new terminal and uh, paste all these things so click on paste and it will be done 
right so once you do it it will uh, do all the thing right so for github uh, it is i guess done yeah so uh, from origin it's done right so now if you uh, refresh uh, in your github uh, you will see that our code is being pushed right so our code is being pushed here in our github right so that is the thing that uh, we have pushed our code to github means our react js uh, app to our github project right so uh, this is our code i have made some changes also here right and uh, it is also being uh, in the local machine the thing is being running so you can see that i have changed the things right and the github repository that also i have been done so right so we have showed you right so now the next thing that comes out here is uh, adding our netlify and uh, performing all the tasks so first thing is uh, search for netlify search for netlify in your browser and the first one that will come is netlify.org.com uh, that one uh, click on login or if you have not signed up uh, you have to sign up first to means to create an account and then sign up right and then uh, once you have signed up uh, give a project name and then click on add a new site and uh, click on import it import an existing project because uh, we are having this thing from our github right so we have already created our project right so that's fine and now uh, once you are done with this thing click on uh, github because we want to uh, do all the things from our github only so click on github right and once it is done you have to verify so you can uh, do we have to do authorize netlify and once you have authorized it will redirect us so yeah it is done right so this is our uh, account github account so from here uh, search for the repository that you have created so uh, in my case uh, it was uh, test i guess so let us search yeah this one test right test app we have been created right so and uh, owner you have can select and the main branch is there right and uh, build command npm run build public uh, publish directory will be built and uh, simply click on deploy site and once you do this one uh, it will uh, start deploying the whole thing from github to netlify so you can see site deploy in progress so if you click on this one you will see that it is building so it is uh, uh, deploying so if you go inside this one you can see it is performing all the codes and all those things now it has deployed the site and uh, the things are being processing right and all the things are being done successfully so from github it has fetched all the things and it is done and you can simply click on preview right and once you click on preview you will see that uh, we have a custom domain that is given by netlify right and uh, this is our site right so that is the thing that we have been created so you can see on open publish deploy right so this is the one which we have created now uh, in the local host i have made some changes right this one i have made some changes right so first of all uh, we have to uh, commit uh, that one in our github also right so that a new thing will be deployed so you can simply write git add dot and then git commit and then we have to give a message uh, added or you can say made some changes right made some changes right and then simply we have to uh, do git so i have simply done the push and it has been pushed right so i am uh, clearing it right so we have pushed our uh, new code that is the modified one in our github and once we have uh, done it so if you come in our github repository also and if you refresh it so you will see that i have made some changes and it is being pushed right and now uh, in our uh, github means in our netlify if you come and uh, you will see that i have also made some changes right so that is also being deployed at instant right so you can see uh, it has been deployed so if you open now the new one you will see that the changes that we have been done it will be coming right so you can see uh, in the previous one this one was coming and it is not refreshed yet right and this one this is coming right so that uh, i wanted to show you 
so if you refresh it again you will see this one right so that is it uh, like how you can deploy and connect the netlify and you can host or you can say you can deploy your react js application uh, in netlify and connecting it through github how can how you can make some changes and how all the things will work and this is the process so i think that you have liked this video uh, the whole process is really simple you can modify or you can add custom domains also right from here so that is it for today's video that how you can deploy your site in netlify so i hope that you have enjoyed this video so if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to share it with your friends and like it and you can also comment down below like if you are facing any problem and don't forget to subscribe my channel also right so if you want to support me you can subscribe my channel also so that is all for today's video and i will meet you in my next video so till then bye bye and have a great day